I want to break some news to you guys. This is a complete scam. They're scamming you out of 40 years of your life. They're scamming you out of your time with your family, with your loved ones. They're scamming you out of your freedom. The whole reason why you want to be rich is so that you can enjoy it, not so you can pay for the best nursing home. Do you know that feeling you get when you don't know how you're going to be able to afford something? Whether it's your rent, car payment, or even a date. I know I have. You see, the education system failed us. It's not your fault that you don't know how to manage money. They didn't want us to learn how to manage our money so that we could fall into debt. Then this debt is used to control us. You can't quit your job if you have debt. You can't move countries if you have debt. You can't even buy healthy food. But after being flat out broke for so many years, I finally come up with a financial plan that has helped me transform my finances. And I wanna share it with you guys so none of us have to be wage slaves until we're in coffins. We all gotta make it, guys. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I am just sharing some advice that I've learned over the years through trial and error. First things first though, if you haven't seen my previous video on why you need to get your money right, make sure you watch that first so you can really understand how important this topic really is. There should be a button up here in the upper right hand corner so you can click that and go ahead and watch that first. I want to start off by saying that the road to financial freedom and becoming rich is much quicker than they make it out to seem. They'll tell you that you need to work 40, 50 years, save a little bit, save 10% of your income, and then finally when you're 65 years old, you'll be able to retire and finally enjoy your money. I want to break some news to you guys. This is a complete scam. They're scamming you out of 40 years of your life. They're scamming you out of your time with your family, with your loved ones. They're scamming you out of your freedom. The whole reason why you want to be rich is so that you can enjoy it, not so you can pay for the best nursing home. Now we have one goal with this plan. We want to make $10,000 a month without a day job. We want to be able to make this money without it being tied to how many hours we have to work. Now it won't be easy, but it definitely won't take 40 years. So let's say you're in your late teens. How do you get rich young so that you can enjoy it? Well, step one is to get a job. You need a job at least in the beginning of your journey so that you can obviously pay your bills and start saving up to invest in future opportunities. Now I know you're probably thinking, Frank, you just said that jobs are a scam. Jobs are scams only if you plan on working them for the rest of your life. Unless you were born into a family of millionaires, you need a job in the beginning. That's just being realistic. Step two, and some of you guys might want to click off of this video as soon as you hear it, but trust me, I swear by this 100%. You want to literally think about ways to make money and you want to get as creative as you can. I swear to you, that if you spend 30 minutes every day in pure silence with a notepad in your hands, you will come up with several ideas every week that could make you money. Put your phone on airplane mode, ignore the rest of the world for half an hour, and just brainstorm. You see guys, the reason why you can't come up with any ideas is because you're constantly being surrounded by environmental stimuli. You have your phone going off, people are texting you, people are calling you, you're getting social media notifications, etc. But if you sit in complete silence, even for a few minutes, you'll notice that your mind is racing. That's not you being anxious, that's not anxiety. That's just you finally listening to your brain and the thoughts you come up with. Now I'm not going to give you the cookie cutter BS advice of list your passions or make money doing what you love. We're not here for that. We're here to make money legally, of course, but we're here to make money. And more often than not, following your passions is not going to make you money. Yes, it's going to be hard for you to come up with ideas that actually work, but nothing worth having was ever easy to get. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, this doesn't work. Uh, how many people would actually try it? Most people are too lazy to even sit there for 10 minutes just thinking. As crazy as it sounds, most people are just not willing to do that. Even Andrew Tate himself advises this in his courses on making money. So I encourage all of you to plan out time every single day to just brainstorm business ideas that could work for you in your current situation. You guys will be amazed with what you come up with. Now step three is to start saving up. Like I've said in all my financial videos, 
if you haven't started saving, start now. You guys need to save up at least $10,000. Life is just way too unpredictable and having 10 grand saved up will give you a lot of peace of mind and will allow you to make decisions for your business with a clear head. Peace of mind is priceless. It's really hard to make good financial decisions when you're worried about how you're gonna be able to pay your rent this month. Now, if you grind really hard and spend carefully, you guys should have that money relatively quickly, between a year to a year and a half max. Especially since you're working so much, you probably won't have too much free time to be able to spend the money that you're making. It sucks at first, but in the long run, you'll thank yourself for having done it. Now, once you have that 10 grand, you wanna split it in two. 5,000 is going to go into a high yield savings account. I'm gonna leave some links down below in the description to some banks that offer high yield savings accounts. I'm not affiliated with any of these banks. I just think it's a really good idea and it's free to do. So if you're over 18 and you live in the US, make sure you check them out and get started. There's really no excuses so long as, again, you're over 18 and you're in the US. And the other half, you wanna leave it in a separate bank account only to be used to fund any business ideas that you have come up with or will come up with. Now, you guys wanna pick a business idea that's scalable. An example of this would be a YouTube channel. YouTube channel, you put in work in the beginning, you start making videos, you upload them, and at first you don't get paid anything. But over time, as your channel grows, you'll start getting paid, and as it keeps growing, you'll exponentially get paid more and more without having to work more hours compare that to your job, which is not scalable, you get paid a set amount per hour. If you don't work, you don't get paid. So you want an idea that will make you more money without having to work more hours. That's our goal here. Obviously, it's going to take you time to come up with ideas that actually work. But the key here is consistent effort. Even 15 minutes every single day for two years straight is 182 hours of work. If you don't think that you can come up with several ideas that would actually work and could make you money, you're insane. Now, once you've found an idea that could actually work for you, you wanna make a rough outline, a plan for the first year of business to how you're gonna get from point A, which is just starting out, to point B, which is whatever goal you have for your first year of operation. You don't need to make a super detail, just a rough outline of the first year. It really shouldn't be more than a page long. Business plans won't make you money. Action is what will make you money. Once you have this plan, we go into step four, which is to start creating your business and build it as quickly as you can. Money follows speed, and speed comes from immediate action done consistently. Now, obviously, starting a large project is gonna be very difficult to do on your own. That's why I suggest outsourcing tasks that are not important for business operation if your budget allows you to. You can outsource almost any task you can think of on Fiverr, from doing market analysis and research, from analyzing your competitors, to even managing your business email. You can find a contractor on Fiverr that'll do it pretty cheap, and this frees up more of your time to handle more important things about your business. When you're first starting out, it's pretty hard to get into the habit of working consistently on this. One tip that I have for you guys is that when you're first starting out, you want to set a goal of X amount of tasks that you want to complete every single day for your business. And the key here is to do it every single day in order to create positive momentum. This positive momentum is what will help you get through the initial phases of your business, which is where 99% of people fail. And while you work, you want to block out all possible distractions. Wear earplugs even if you have to. Treat this time as if nothing else in the world matters. On average, every single time that you get distracted from your work, it takes you 15 minutes to refocus. You can imagine over the course of a day or a week or a month, how many hours you're missing out on. Now I hate to burst your positivity bubble, but most days will be bad days, at least in the beginning. At first, you won't feel that productive, you won't feel like you're getting too much done and you'll think you have no idea what it is you're doing. That's fine. That's how you should feel. That's normal. That's your brain's way of telling you that it's still trying to process everything and figure it out. But once your brain does finally subconsciously figure out what it is that you have to do, 
you'll finally have your big moment of clarity and realize that you have way more control over your business's destiny. You'll realize that if you're willing to work hard and work smart, over the course of a few years, you're almost guaranteed to be successful. Step five is research. You guys wanna do research about your target market and more importantly, your competitors. If you're at this step, you must try to learn from the successes of others and try to emulate what works for them. Things like their advertising strategy or their sales tactics. Those are things that you guys can pick up on, analyze, try to change up a little bit and use it to your own advantage. Now, I'm not saying to copy people. I'm saying to emulate them, which is to get inspiration from them, to see what works for them and then use that to your own benefit in your own way. And it doesn't matter what category your business is in, whether it's sales, video production, like a YouTube channel, even music production, it really doesn't matter. You could always learn a lot from your competitors just by doing a few simple Google searches and going on websites like SimilarWeb and finding what they use to advertise, how they advertise, and where they're getting the majority of their traffic from. And you can use that info to really give you a jump start. But the most important thing you guys want to research about your competitors is what they do that you can do better. This is how you find your edge in business and what will really make you stand out to your customers. Your business will never be perfect, but your competitors won't be either. And you can use this to your advantage big time. There is always something that they're doing that can be improved upon. Now the next step, step six, is to optimize your business and work out any kinks. Competition is always going to be ruthless, which is why you constantly need to be tweaking and improving what you're bringing to market. If you never adapt to the market, it's going to eat you alive. You have to make adjustments based off of customer feedback, comments, analytics, and market changes. Always be trying to optimize and streamline your business. At the end of the day, optimization and streamlining is what's gonna give you either more time or more money, both of which lead to more freedom. If you were told that it was gonna take you twice as long to be successful as you thought it was gonna take, would you still work towards your goal? Of course you would. Which is why step seven is to never stop working towards the life that you wanna create for yourself. If an idea doesn't work, it sucks, you failed, and it feels terrible. But if you quit working towards your dream life, then you really failed. Odds are your first business is going to fail, and your second and third will probably fail also. But over time, as you keep trying, you'll keep learning. And eventually, you will be able to build a business that makes 10K a month without a job. The reason why most entrepreneurs end up failing is because they either don't adapt to the market or they give up way too soon and are unable to see the fruit of the seed that they planted. You have to be willing to put in a ton of work and mental effort into any business endeavor that you start. This journey is going to test you but you have to be willing to face any challenges head on and never give up. Until next time, don't stop grinding.